This video is brought to you by my free DNA course that you can get at guitarinfusion.com. Don't do it now though. Watch the video first, then go redeem your free DNA course at guitarinfusion.com. Let's get started. So I was driving to the studio this morning, listening to whatever's on my uh, Spotify, and it happened to be French rap. I kind of liked it. Hello, David Wallman here. We're starting something new today. We are starting an exploration of the musical language. This right here, the guitar or the piano or the tuba, whatever instrument you play is your instrument. Obviously, it's your pencil. You are the author. I say it all the time, but that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video and we're gonna start exploring these things. See, the, the pencil doesn't tell the story. You, the author, tells the story, the ideas, should be happening inside, or at least the strong ideas should be happening inside, inside of your soul, and then just use your pencil to replicate these ideas. Because of that, that means that ideas can come anywhere. Take, take an author, and take Stephen King, for example. The story happens in his mind, maybe on a walk or at a vacation or whatever. He, it probably doesn't start with the pencil. And as guitar players, we often start writing music or exploring new licks or coming up with new ideas with the instrument. And I think, although that could be good sometimes, uh, if we, we only do this, our ideas are gonna be heavily influenced by our ability to play the instrument no matter where you're at. So if you're a beginner player, and you write music or come up with new ideas with your guitar, all your ideas are gonna be beginner ideas because they are going to be influenced by what you already know on the instrument. We're gonna take it backwards. We're gonna start without this and we're gonna explore musical ideas that come um, out of your everyday life situation. And for me, this morning, it was listening to rap music. So now that I have this, we're gonna pick up our guitar and start exploring concepts using this. So this morning as I was driving to the office, this particular section of this song just caught my attention. I, I really liked it. I actually love it. This goes across genres, across preconceived ideas. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna apply this to the type of music that comes out naturally from me. The first thing is to ask yourself a question. What do we like about this? Maybe it's nothing, then you move on to something else. But for me, it's definitely the rhythm. So continuous flow of notes. And at the end, this slow down. So the first step is to really internalize this in your mind. So we've got our beat, and then this is divided in 16th notes. Four notes per beat. And at the end, something else. Okay, that's eighth notes. So we have a flow of 16th notes ending with eighth notes. All right, let's take that concept, apply it to our instrument. Now the fun part begins. I'm gonna take this, extract this tiny little idea and try to apply it to something more musical, something that comes from me. So we're still gonna use a musical bed, we're gonna change it, we're not gonna use this rap song, but I'm just gonna grab a backing track, something something simple, maybe something funky with where there's a lot of rhythms. This will do. By the way, yes, you can download this backing track and charts for the scales for free. There's a link below, it'll take you to a sign-up page completely free, and not only will you access this download, but also all the other downloads on the channel. Okay, now for the fun part, we're actually going to come up with melodic ideas using that scale. So I could use an A Dorian mode here, but if you're not familiar with that mode, you can use the A minor pentatonic scale. Why? Well, because within a Dorian, you find a hidden minor pentatonic scale. So whatever your comfort level is, that's fine. And we're gonna apply the Let's give that a try. I'm gonna start by doing nothing. I'm gonna to listen to this, this canvas on which I'll start adding details. It's really a story that you're building. Now remember the concept was 16th notes followed by eighth notes. I'm not gonna start that right away. I'm gonna blend the concept within my, my regular playing. So I'm gonna say hello first. 
very, very simple introduction, introductionary phrase. Getting comfortable with this. Let's try it here. Let's try it again. I had to place that one in, right? <laughs> Pretty cool how this was born from this, right? We just extracted one simple idea from something else and it did not start with the guitar and that's such an important aspect of developing your musicality. The concept will be developed in the future videos. You can download this backing track that charts for free. Link is below. Also, I would like to invite you to check out my free music theory DNA course guitarinfusion.com, check it out. It's very simple to follow. It'll make a big difference in your playing. It already has helped hundreds of players. I wanna help you with that. Completely free, guitarinfusion.com. And thanks so much for watching this video. I'll meet you in this one if you wanna continue watching. If not, guitarinfusion.com. Meet you right there. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.